Daddy, but I swear I can't forget this ain't intense. Now they saying that I bought. What's up, guys? My name is AJ Billings over here at Sanders Kiss Performance Center located in downtown Dallas, Texas. I have here ex former, whatever you want to say, baller, NFL baller, now turned entrepreneur here with me, Jerron Ham. Yes, sir. What up, my guy? What up? Hey. Nice to be here, man. Appreciate you having me. Just gonna ask him a couple questions on his transition over to uh, being an entrepreneur. What does your daily routine look like? How do you mentally, physically, and spiritually prepare for a day? Okay, so I feel like the, the success or the progress in life comes in a routine. So I'm very strict on mine. Uh, first thing in the morning, I wake up at 4 a.m., meditate, get a little coffee in, get energy. Yeah. Then I'm in here by about 5.30. A.m.? So 5.30 a.m., yeah, it's first thing. So meditation and prayer, knock that out, drive 35 minutes, come to Sanders Fit, uh, knock a workout out. And then by that time, it's time to get to work for the business. So throughout the day, I'm running a trucking company. Of course, you know about it. Uh, and then at the end of the day, wind down, spend time with the family. So every day I try to stay in line to keep everything in order and focus. So obviously you have a truck company now. You're an entrepreneur and a big businessman as right. well. How were you able to, obviously, right, you were a, a great college collegiate football player and then you took your ranks over to the to the pro league. How were you able to find something outside of football that you were just as passionate about? Man, it, it wasn't Cause that's easy. the toughest thing, thinking it about is. it. You know, yeah. everybody has championed you as, as a football player your mm -hmm. entire life. Champion, champion, and Jerron Hamm, right. right, right? And that's what you, you, you lived and that's what you all, all that's what you known your right. entire life. How were you able to transition that passion over to something else? Like you said, it is hard because you identify as this athlete, everybody's raising you up and praising you. Then when it's over, you kind of find yourself in a transition, a transitional point where it's like, who am I, right? So I, I started trying to be a trainer. I didn't like it, but I know how to do something to continue to have income coming in. I got a lifestyle to support. So uh, just in research, man, I, I never knew anything about the trucking industry. Came across it, talked to a friend, and one thing led to another. Now we're running a company for going on three years now. Yeah, because I, I was I was just and talking to a friend of mine and. And we were talking just in, in depth on how do you find that passion? I mean, it's great that you found it and, and, and you were able to transition over. Now you're making tons of money. You know, what strengths do you uh, believe that uh, as an athlete that transition over to what you do now? So I think, I think what a lot of athletes fail to use is the work ethic, right? We have to, we have to be there at six o'clock for workouts. You have to be in the playbook. You have to pay attention. You have to take mental reps. When you take that from the field into life and you continue with that same work ethic, you're just changing the game. It's all a game. Changing right? the game. You're just I like changing that. the game. I like so that. we go from football, I take that, that work ethic with me, studying the playbook. Now that's studying my finances, studying the industry that I'm in. Uh, taking mental reps, that's learning from other people, learning from people who I call my mentors who have been successful in the same industry. So really like like we just said, just change the game but continue to use those things that we've been doing our whole lives. I think you know, being able to prioritize and being able to put things in perspective. What is your five, top five priorities right now in your life? Man, so mental health, that's a big one. That's Especially in, in sports, uh, that's one thing a lot of guys don't talk about is in football, you get a knock on the shoulder, you out the, you out the locker room, come right. turn your playbook in. So you gotta build your mental health strongly. Uh, of course, finances, that's, that's another priority. Yeah. Um, Got to support the lifestyle. My health, that's why I'm in here every morning. Yeah. And then my, my family, and there's no particular order, but if I had to put an order, I would say faith, family, finances, fitness, and then fun. I can enjoy everything when the rest of my life is taken care of and smoothing out. Are there any short-term goals or accomplishments right now, months uh, or in, within the next few years that you're kind of yeah. that you're kind of zoning in on, and what are you doing? mentally, physically, and spiritually to kind of accomplish those goals. Right. So, of course, I got the trucking company, but I don't ever want to put all my eggs in one basket. So the next thing is better. Right, because you want to think about, we have, we have the kids here, mm -hmm. understanding a lot of kids are interested in sports, so they're interested in basketball, football. Right. You kind of want to think about other opportunities that are in front of you, yeah. right? And, and so that's why this program is here, because we're giving them a, a, a lot of different options, right? We got yoga, we got painting, we got whatever field that you're wanting to go into, you want to kind of, right, have different options. Right. It's not, not just sports. You have other opportunities out there, you know, for these kids. I want them to know, you know, you know open your eyes. Explore. 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 
man, explore everything. Mm -hmm. I was so stuck on football that when it was over, I was like, I don't have nothing else. Right. So now that when I get one thing, it's like, well, what's next? What else, how am I going to uh, branch out if this slows down or if I just want to, you know, do something else? Short term, of course, would be to continue to grow my company, get that uh, to a level where I see it. And every time we hit a level, I want to go to the next level up. I want to build a fitness brand, not, not so much as being a trainer, but just being somebody that embodies fitness, business, family, uh, kind of like the, the big picture, right? This guy can come in and dominate at 5 a.m., go home, handle business, go home, handle family. And then I want to get into some real estate investing as well. In Dallas and with the market right now, I've been talking to a few guys. So on the business side, the next thing will be real estate. That's amazing. Just one more question here. Uh, how has being an athlete helped you push through the obstacles of being a businessman? Man, so just like you said, any obstacle thrown my way. A drop ball, that's kind of like a, a failure in the trucking industry. One bad day, a drop ball, you got to get to the next rep. So pretty much developing that sense of short-term memory. Yeah. If something goes bad right now, it doesn't mean it's going to last. So getting from one rep to the next, I take that into, the, into regular life with me. And mm -hmm. nothing lasts, nothing bad lasts, nothing good lasts. It's always going to keep working. So just continuing to grind no matter what's going on. Well, I really appreciate it. We're going to get into this workout now. This is just one part of it. We're going to put together a 30-minute quick workout with Ron now. Uh, let's do it. Let's rise together, y'all. Let's go.